uh, the third animal in Southern California in two weeks, and we had an additional animal that stranded in Baja during that period of time. So the whole Southern California and Baja areas have four dead blue whales in the past two weeks. This is the freshest animal that we've had and the one that we've really been able to um, tow down here and get onto a beach. And so because of that, um, we really want to try to get as much information as we can so we can try to figure out why these animals have been added. But we'll have a crew measuring the animal, collecting all of the metrics, the size and length of the animal, while another crew is working on um, getting into the animal so that we can collect our tissue samples. So we're going to have several crews working in several different areas to collect as much data as we can as fast as we can. Well, the morphometrics is general body length, and we take a, uh, about 28 measurements on the length and the size and shape of the animal. And then um, we're going to go systematically through the organ systems and collect a series of tissue samples. So from each organ, we'll collect tissues for um, different types of testing, heavy metal testing, toxicology. So, uh, this is an excellent opportunity. It's, it's community like this. And so we will collect as much data as we can. Um, we'll take skin for genetics. We'll take, uh, pretty much we're going to take probably 10 to 15 samples of each tissue just so that every lab out there that's interested will have enough. And so... How many different kinds of tissue are we talking about? Um, every organ, muscle, blubber, skin, lymph nodes. So a lot, a lot of tissues could be anywhere up to 25 to 30 tissues. We'll also look for biotoxins, so we'll look for folic acid in some of the body fluids, we'll collect blood to look for other diseases. So we pretty much treat every stranded animal the same. We collect as much data as we can, and we let the clues of the, of the tissues tell us what's going on with the animal.